Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at a web-based image editor called Pixlr. Now if you go to Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com slash editor forward slash again, you will get something that looks very much like Photoshop Elements. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tools so that you can see how much power there is in this web-based image editor. Now of course you have the crop and move tools but then you have the standard marquee tool right there and then you can change the options up here at the top. You can pick the circular one right there and you can do the normal things that you can do with Photoshop Elements. You also have the lasso tool. You also have the magic wand tool right there. Pen and pencil eraser, the bucket tool, gradient, clone stamp, color replacer which is one of the new ones that's in Photoshop Elements. You have a drawing tool, you have the blur and sharpen, you have the smudge and sponge, the burn and dodge tools right there, red eye reduction, a spot healing brush, and this is one that you normally get in the liquify and that's the bloat and the pinch tools. You have the color picker right there which is the eyedropper. You can add some type, you can move it, and you can also zoom in there. So let's go ahead and go up to the top and see what kind of stuff that they have at the top here. When we go to the edit, we have the free transform and free distort, which you can do in Photoshop Elements as well. You can rotate and flip the canvases. You can change the layers around as well as flip the layers just like in Photoshop Elements and Photoshop. Now when we get to the adjustment tool, there's one great addition to this particular web-based editor and that is the ability to check out curves. Now that's something that's normally not in Photoshop Elements, but let's go ahead and take a look at curves here. This is normally something that you get in the full version of Photoshop and you could go in here and you could play around with the curve. Now I do love having curves here because it gives you the ability to set the white and blacks just like you have in levels, but it gives you this nice slope that you can use for adding to either the dark or the lights and it doesn't give you that blocky effect. It kind of has that nice fade when it goes from the darks to the lights whenever you're adjusting these things. So I do love the curves addition to this. If you go over here and you go back to there, you also have some things called old photo right here which is makes it look kind of like a sepia but it's more like an old photo just like it says and then if you use the commander control options right there it does have the ability to go backwards and undo and you'll notice that all these shortcuts are listed right here with the controller command. Now I'm using a Mac and the commands do work so that's kind of a nice thing right there. Now on the filter we have the standard blurs and sharpens and noises and everything but what's really nice is when you get down here there's a few that I really like that they have. One is the vignette. You can do the vignette and then you can add a really quick vignette to this where it kind of darkens the edge so there's no more having to go in there and burn the edges of your photo. It automatically does it for you. Let's go ahead and let's go back to the filter. We have one that's called Mimic HDR. Normally with an HDR photo you take five to seven shots and then you combine those but this is a Mimic HDR so you can go in there and as you can see it took all the lights kind of lighten them out. Kind of gives it a gritty effect so it's not the greatest thing to use on females but on males when you want to have that gritty look the Mimic HDR is a great filter to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the Command Z undo those. Normally on women you do want to go over here where it has the glamour glow. It's kind of a nice effect right here. Do another con Command or Control Z. Go back to Command Zero. So all the shortcuts that are in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, they do work in this particular web-based editor called Pixlr. Let's go ahead and let's go down over here. There's a bunch of other ones. This one's kind of a fun one, Night Vision. You can give it a little bit more noise right there. Maybe set the gain a little bit different right there. It's just kind of nice. Give it that um, Night Vision scope effect right there. And then the last one that I was going to show you that was kind of cool was this one called Heat Map right there. Give it that predator look to it, but that's kind of a fun one as well. And then, of course, last but not least, you have the different zooms. You can change the languages. And then if you want to add this, if you happen to be a programmer, you can use the API to put this in another program that you're going to use. So this is kind of a great thing. 
So if you're going to be using any kind of a photo editor like Photoshop, you don't have the money for the latest version of Photoshop Elements 10, you can go to pixlr.com slash editor and you could go ahead, you can go to file, open, these will save out as a JPEG image when you're saving them out. You can also open all these images in your browser as well. So this is Chucky from Digital Goulash. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my video, give me a thumbs up, and share my links with your friends. Cheers!